The answer to last week's riddle is that although the young man acted dishonestly in deceiving his future father-in-law, he's not obligated to reveal this to his father-in-law because the real customer here in the deal was not his father-in-law, but rather his kala, the woman who is ready to marry him and accept him for what he is. The halacha, though, does say that should the father-in-law praise this young man for his outstanding uh, abilities that seem to come from these notes that the young man borrowed, so the young man should demur and explain to his father-in-law that probably things are not just as they seem. Shabbat Shalom.